match here, and already we're going to be live. Finesse going into peak, and oh my god, there's a firing squad waiting. Oh no, now they're going to jump behind it. Kusta will take down Lucas, that's a good start. Cutler in the corner, gets two big headshots, looking for a third. They line up in front of him, because no more bullets left, and he ends up going down. FNX with the revenge at least, but now they're sandwiched in. Ricky comes in with a shot, and Ethan takes down Steel, and that's the round done. <laughs> The second round is coming up here, and Ethan goes down to Henny with a quick deagle headshot. They have four of them, and almost a second one as Ricky nearly falls. No headshot, but uh, even with the body shots, it's uh, just fine. Lucas being fairly aggressive. Steel not making much headway yet with the tech nine over here by the squeak door, but they've got so much map control in the middle here. Yep, and now the rotation from B is cut off. So this is, uh, this is about to get ugly, Anders. Lucas, he can stop those guys from coming over to support their mates on the A site. What I'm interested in is the fact that Immortals seem to be just willing to take... T why? I don't... Why don't they just commit to A as soon as they have that guy in connector? Yeah, it's a reasonable point. Finesse should be going down here. Bolts, easy kill. Kusta, gonna have to really earn his way here. Picks up the one. Could be a quick follow-up. It probably should have been. Bolts wouldn't have required that many bullets to kill now. It's a really uncomfortable two versus two. The bomb making its way onto the site and being planted as we speak. They're going to try and see if they can isolate Henny. They get the kill now. It's Bolt. One on one versus Ricky, who's got three health left. So a single bullet here is going to take care of it. He's going to try and hold it down. He's got the kit. A couple of more seconds. Bolt. He's way too slow. He's going to try and make it right around the corner. And no! Immortals going to pick up the round. Bolt is just quick enough. That was down to quick the last second. CLG, they might not be able to get the rotation in in time. FNX going to be smoking it up. But he walks through Ethan. I'm not sure if he realized. Seems to think that that's just a perfect block. Now Cutler going to be calling for backup, saying they're already on the site. But nice shot from Lucas. Ethan is there, but only for a second. And Henny, in the meantime, has found the shot. It's going to be FNX. It pays off him lurking around, and he knows that Rick is close. Baits out the shot and gets the job done. Four players survive in what was a very clean round. Running onto the site, Kusta's there with the AWP, and he has support from Ethan on short, as well as Cutler. This is going to be dicey for Immortals. Good Molotov to force Kuster out, but he still gets a kill on Henny now. They're running out of time. 25 seconds, and Kuster playing it really close with the AWP. He needs some backup right now. Ethan going to take one, but Bolts is there, and Finesse in the middle, making sure no flank is possible. Steel with a practically running headshot, taking down Kotler, and two versus three at the moment. The bomb will be going down, and it's not the best position in the world because you still can't stop that from the main. You're going to have to run much closer to actually stop that defuse, but we'll see if that's going to be an issue or not. Bolts. Moving back, but it's squeaked all they have to worry about. And is it closed? No, it's open. This is going to be big. The crossfire is now there. Bolts in a second is going to take a bolt to the side of the head. Never sees it coming, of course. And Rike finds the shot on steel as well. Perfectly more than enough time here for the diffuse. He, he was a big part of why they could retake it last time. He got that kill on bolts this time. Maybe he's going to have to be the one opening it up because the other two have rifle or AWP, so it's going to be a lot more tricky for them. All the way up on the forklift, aggressive peeking coming out here from the T side. Henny smoked off for the moment, and actually that smoke blocks off Finesse. He's going to get the kill anyway, but that was almost a terrible mistake. Now it's down to Steel and FNX, trapped in the back line here. One versus three, FNX not looking the right way. I think he thought that was a grenade coming in. Instead, Finesse with the triple, and enough time for the defuse here. CLG going to well, they still have the money for it. Well, obviously, Kuster has his AWP that he saved. Bolts this time will win towards B. Suppose you have to have Rika going aggressive. And, well, Kusta going to get wall banged through. Down to 38 HP. Has to back off. No possibility of a trade kill. Oh, peekaboo. Ethan. This is dangerous. He's not out of the woods yet. He's done it. Oh, what a shot coming in. Henny gets taken out. Well done, Ethan. Very nearly dropping Lucas. I mean, even if he even if he just did the damage, that's still great. And then the fact that now it almost seems like they can reliably count on Ricky to just get a kill outside of B. Just leave him in charge of that and put everyone else mid or A. Kusta playing very close here towards the forklift, and Immortals realize now they've got to make it work. Doesn't get the jump shot as they come through, and Steel reads that situation very well. Finesse will pick up a kill there on Steel, and that's going to buy time for the rotation. Just Lucas and FNX next, and Lucas is practically dead already. FNX out in the open fighting. Ricky shows up, gets a kill, and gets the follow-up. Triple here for the Australian player. Very well done, man. Ricky's a beast right now. Yeah, Ricky. Two smokes could definitely be one for Upper and CT over at the B bombsite. You've got those two cleared out. But um, they're gonna 
they're going to hit the engagement earlier than that. It's going to be Cutler, the first point of contact. And then on the crossfire, if anything goes on, Cutler's waiting. It's actually going to be Ricky who spots them out first. And then Cutler's going to go with the pop flash. This is a very bold strat. They're going to finally see it coming. And there's the first kill for Ricky. They turn around for the grenade, though. Great play from Immortals. And Ricky, a lot of trouble here. Can't get the flick. And FNX will take him down. Costa, you're a bit late to the party, but you do hit the bomb carrier. Seven seconds left. There's just enough time to get that bomb plant. It's not going to be a fancy one. It will not be planted for Bolts, for example, to Checkered. But they will get it nonetheless. Man advantage now for the retake here on CLG. But FNX brings it back to a two on two. And this is all on FNX to clutch it now. Good job on Ethan, but the double FNX double gets one here, but one flashbang could finish this whole thing. In fact, there's no flashbangs on Immortals, so it's certainly not going to be that. We'll see how this can work out. CLG, first spray comes in. Ethan getting a quick double, turn it into a triple. Eventually out of bullets, but still, that was definitely worth it. Now it's Bolts and Lucas. Two versus three here, and can we get a quick, yeah, quick bomb plant? Yeah, quick bomb plant, and also Bolts using a lot of time before he actually commits with the smoke. So that smoke is going to last... 30 seconds before that bomb goes boom. And a man advantage once again here for CLG going into the retake on A. And they're pacing themselves. They're taking their time about it. Waiting for somebody exactly on Immortals to make the play. I like this. Ricky moving up. He's got no fear at all. He's a maniac at the moment. Just going to be charging in and may have been a bit too much. Bolts with another two headshots. Molotov, Costa goes down. Oh my God, Bolts. Unbelievable. Taking all three players. He very nearly did it last round, and this time he does. This is all part of the plan right now for the Brazilian side. The smoke is up, so guy playing truck that was Bolts can't really do anything, and he's actually going to get taken out by Kusa. That's like a nice long-range shot. Now things are looking really good here for CLG, and the quick flank is coming in, but they already see it, and Kusa, another shot comes in. That's three headshots from Kusa, shutting down Immortals. Ricky, he wants to be part of the party, and it'll just be Henny walking in, USP in hand. Let's go. With that USPS, he, he had spotted as well. The jig is up, and Kusta, three headshots, not enough. He needed a fourth. There we go. Devastating. I feel like there are so many tournaments now where I feel like Immortals look like a, a playoff team. You know, they just look like they can make it. They look so hungry, and they look so motivated. And then it's they just all the time just get a slightly, slightly short there. Boost up in the middle by Cutler and Finesse holding with the bomb by the ice cream truck. Oh, what a shot. Sick work from Ethan. But FNX is there to bring it back. He trades on Kusta into a four on four. But still, Ethan managed to create some space here for CLG in mid with an excellent headshot. Yeah, and not afraid to try and follow it up. No one on highway right now. In fact, the only one holding the A-bomb site here is Bolt, way back by the NBK corner, and then on truck. But that truck position is going to get smoked off really quickly. So a lot of this is just going to be Bolt. They have Molotovs. They're just going to burn him out. He can't even cancel it. He doesn't have a smoke to cancel any Molotovs. So Bolt could be just in a lot of trouble any second now. It's Ethan coming in. Long range spray. Oh, my God. He hits that headshot. Triple kill for Ethan in the round. And all of them beautiful kills. Lucas and Steel are left. Now, finally, Ethan goes down to... Right, a now. Molotov there, but... That was FNX's Molotov. Did he get the <laughs> timing off right, where he thought it was going to clear, and yet so through some devious trick of the mind, it didn't? Just it hung up. around I just I think Kenny is the sort of AWPer that can, that can make a lot work from this position, even if the Molotov start raining in. Yep, and there, sure enough, Kusa just decides to walk into the angle a second after. Finesse, though! That was the shot to hit. Gets the trade. And it's all on Immortals now. Smokes are up, but CLG are pushing. And it's going to be Ethan leading the way. Does he have another hero round in him? But they're actually routing the bomb back. This is a really great mid-round call. A lot of these calls are just perfect from CLG. They're doing a fantastic job. Ethan is sticking around. They've got the bomb in middle now. In fact, they're going to go for the boost. And FNX, is he realizing? Yeah, easy kill on Ethan for sure. But now what do they do? Oh, I wish they would have just kept running to the B-bombs. I actually think that would have been the perfect call. But now they might have outgamed themselves. Cutler goes down. Finesse and Ricky left here. Two versus four. Yeah, this is just one of those rounds where you're going to forget it ever happened. Rick is going to find the kill on FNX, but there's only 10 seconds left. Luckily, the bomb will be able to get onto the site, and so they will find that plant. Oh, my God. What? Rick finds a kill at Truck as well. Bolts is down. Lucas is roasting. Oh, Finesse getting another headshot. How are they letting this go, Immortals? It was just two on four, and suddenly Rick is back from the first half. He's been disappeared for a while, but now 
It looks like it's good. That bomb line is so vicious as well. And Steel going to be moving around. He gets the first kill, but Ricky just has to hide in main. Steel has one flashbang. He could try for the underhand throw. Maybe that would make the difference here. But Ricky coming out with a long peek, and he gets the kill triple here, surviving on just 10 health. And see oh, no. This and is going to get awkward for Kusta. Maybe even more so for... Uh, Penny hiding in the corner there. He's gonna get the one kill on Cutler, but he loses a teammate. Now the Molotov is in, and he had no smoke to cancel it. So that's the reason why I was a bit worried there. Three on three. Bolts coming in, long spray there to take down Ricky. That's a good job. Ethan next in line, Bolts not afraid. A great job, a one versus three here up against Finesse. They've got to win this. Well, clever play here from Finesse. Bolts should never expect him to be coming from on high, but unfortunately for ah, Finesse, he's not. He's going to get covered. I think he was behind his gun or something, yes. the model of the gun. He just couldn't see him. That would have been flawless. Good job shooting out the vents before CLG can hear it coming into the middle. That's why they're doing that. If you're wondering why not just wait until you get to the other side of the wall, but then they can hear it, and they'll definitely know you're at least thinking about going vents. Mm -hmm. It looks like CLG want to go for just an explosive A push here, though. Three and squeak. One through main, one holding the back line. We'll have the nades set up here. And there's the opening double entry kill coming through. And he's still once again making the difference. But this time it's CLG with the man advantage. Lucas and Steel with the retake. And Lucas has a kit. And unbelievable timing for CLG to open that door. Flashbang right in the face of Steel. They have to go for this, otherwise it's not going to work out at all. Cutler taking a bit of damage, but how did they get onto this bomb site? There's still another Molotov left on Cutler. And he can just throw our bomb out that bomb. Steel goes down to Ricky. It seems like it's all over. Lucas drops. Ricky with a triple. And CLG managed to knock out Immortals and make their way into the playoffs here. What a crazy story.